Hi, this is Shady. Today we're going to be talking about a Sambo arm lock that I found and it's very brutal, it's illegal in judo and I will explain the whole rule with the judo arm locks con considering the shoulder and the elbow. A lot of people think that if it hurts the elbow that it is immediately illegal. This is not the case. I have consulted with one of my teachers 7th degree black belt and also a the coach of one of the recent Paralympic champions. So I'm sure he's very much familiar with the rules. So I came to him with this particular uh, subject and he explained it to me how the shoulder is targeted and it really has to do with short versus long lever and the option to tap or versus how it quickly snaps. So before we do that, please don't forget to check out my book, The Origins and History of Judo, a translation of the manuscript of 1903 in French, Japanese, and English. So let's take a look at this Sambo arm lock first in order to explain uh, what we're talking about. So it comes here from the back, pinning one of the arms, and then you put on the back of the neck and then pull now you see that the elbow was uh, locked, however it is not targeting the elbow, it is going to the back of Uke and then you are in a situation where the shoulder and the elbow are parallel and that's where you can have uh, shoulder problems because here at that particular moment the lever is quite short. So let's see it again. It looks kind of like a Jukoku Jime, but you take an arm lock for, from it, and here you take it, and the shoulder can immediately uh, snap and out of its socket. So, what people or a lot of people think is that uh, Ude Garami in this form, because it pinches the shoulder, it is immediately illegal. This is not what the rule states. It's talking about the shoulder, the elbow being a Above or parallel to the shoulder from the back that's what it means so uh, you have this form you can actually do now the reason why I don't see it often it's because it's a very fundamental technique so people will see it from a mile away especially at the highest level so it's not because it's banned it's because it's way too obvious now people think that only the straight arm variation is legal since uh, the elbow is extended and thus it is targeting the elbow rather than the shoulder but again no this is not true you can actually go for it I discussed recently rare arm locks that are happening and some of them are on on their way out but a lot of them are actually legal and I'll link it at the end of the video so uh, what you can do is obviously isolate the arm and then from there attack it but again, you can do it with a bent or a straight arm lock in Ude Garami. It doesn't really matter. So uh, let's talk about some dangers. So Ude Gatame from this one here, it's actually a legal. Uh, I don't know about the standing in today's rules, but from this one here, even though the elbow is above the shoulder or parallel to it from the back, you are still not dangerous because he was targeting the elbow from this one. Now here, it starts to cause a problem because the arm is slightly bent so uh, all of the tension goes straight to the shoulder and here a slight turn of the hips and it's out of the socket so this is what they mean however now you say so omoplata is actually illegal no not necessarily because you have the elbow that is down and it is uh, going behind the back the wrist going behind the back however the shoulder and the elbow are next to each other so Yes, the, short, the lever is shorter, but it's still within acceptable range. Now, let me show you what I mean. For example, these Aikido pins or locks, you see here, immediately it can snap. I've been through countless of these, and you can see the arm, it is pinned with the torsion. It goes straight to the shoulder, and it can snap almost immediately. So this is what it means. It, it, you can take it to the you can take the whole arm to the back and then from there uh, it becomes parallel to the shoulder and it pops immediately so it's really a question of a short versus long lever but you can target the shoulder if the arm is enough bent and the elbow is next to the shoulder not behind 
sorry not behind it this is the idea behind that rule it is not otherwise people would be only doing jujigatame which is of course not the case so um i hope this cleared it up for you and uh, if you have anything to add please let me know down below uh, of course don't forget to check out my book consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content this was shady and thank you for listening